Well, how the varmints. In this video, we'll be reviewing our second iteration of our sugar wash recipe, which will be used in our pH control experiments in a future video. <laughs> Welcome to Open Source Distilling, where time-honored tradition meets modern day technology. This channel is dedicated to challenging home distilling traditions in an apartment setting. Please consider subscribing to follow my progress on building a fully automated robotic reflux still operating on open source technology on a Raspberry Pi computer. This recipe hasn't changed much from the first recipe. The only difference is that the Epsom salts have been removed and 15 grams of pasture red yeast is now being used for each batch. First, we put down a tally. You want to get high. We are doing four six gallon batches. We coat the inside of each fermenter with star sand sanitizer. Don't fear the foam, it, you won't be able to taste that in your final product. Grab your sugar, a giant bowl, and a scale to measure with. Fill each fermenter with 2.5 gallons of hot water from the tap. Weigh out 7 pounds and 13 ounces of sugar for each fermenter. Next up is the yeast nutrient. I'm using superfood. We are using one gram per liter of sugar wash. So that's 23 grams broken into two additions. One half at the beginning and one half one third of the way through fermentation. Therefore, we are adding about 11 or 12 grams of superfood per fermenter at this time. Mix everything together until the sugar is fully dissolved. Use cold water to top up each fermenter to the 6 gallon mark. Give everything another good mix, then take a specific gravity reading. This recipe should have a specific gravity of about 1.070 and that ferments approximately into a 10% ABV sugar wine. The wash should have a pH of about 6.0, but that value may change based on your local water. I then put some sanitized lids on my fermenters, and be sure you check the temperature of your wash to make sure it's just right for adding yeast. Mine came out to about 25 degrees Celsius, but if yours is too hot, you can throw some ice cubes in there. Next, we add our pH controllers. I'm adding oyster shells to the first fermenter, my pH buffer solution to another fermenter. You'll find the recipe link in the doobly-doo down below. Another batch will get periodically adjusted with baking soda. And the last batch won't get any pH adjustments at all, or for at least as long as I can stand not to add them. I'll add 12 drops of antifoam to each fermenter. Finally, we are adding the rehydrated yeast and bubbling in some oxygen. Follow the instructions on your package to rehydrate the yeast, and then we'll bubble one minute of oxygen into each fermenter. These batches of sugar wash will be used to collect experimental data on different methods of controlling pH during the fermentation process. Once that video is up, I'll include a link in the description down below and a card in the corner of this video. And thanks for making it to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and smash that subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Hope you're having a great day, and I love you all very, very much.